What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So this is episode 10 of the Natty Road to Pro. Today I'm going to bring you a full day of eating on a low carb day and an off day. But of course I'm going to show you guys a workout that I did yesterday because I can't leave you guys without a workout. So what I'm having for breakfast is one whole egg. I got a cup and a half of egg whites. I got two ounces of flank steak and then a half a serving of peanut butter. And then I over fried, air fried the broccoli. This is very crispy broccoli. And this is just to get in a little bit more volume and of course some greens for health and then I have a black coffee. So all this looks actually amazing. If you've never had peanut butter on eggs, you need to try it. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my breakfast while Brady and Kinley are over there watching some Little Mermaid. Uh, so just got done finishing my breakfast. Actually pretty good. It's not the typical uh, oatmeal and everything that I normally have, but right now I'm having to dig deep because I'm just about a week away from the very first contest of this prep, which is next Saturday and today is Friday. I did wake up at a new low weigh-in at 185 pounds this morning and then got up, did my morning cardio like I always do. I did right at 45 minutes. I did 20 minutes on the bike and then 25 minutes on the elliptical and then finished off on some abs. I do have something very very exciting happening today which I haven't had done in over a year which is getting a massage done and right now I need one like I'm sore all over I got a 90 minute massage later on this afternoon and I think that's gonna help me out a whole lot good morning Brady good morning. how are you are you good yeah what are you eating bagel. a bagel oh you're eating carbs aren't you daddy can't have those right no. <laughs> Good morning, Kinley. Hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? You doing good? Say yes. <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, I'm having to hurry for lunch today because I got to uh, go to that massage at one o'clock and it is like 12.15 right now. So I'm gonna have some low carb wraps. I got one of these turkey burgers from Fuel Mills and I'm gonna half it. Uh, on one wrap, so we're gonna have two wraps here. So I'm gonna put some meat on one wrap and then the other wrap. Let me show you exactly what I'm gonna put on this baby to have more volume. So of course you gotta have a lettuce when you have a wrap. So the lettuce got some fat-free cheese, just one slice. And I'm gonna half this on these wraps. These wraps have been a big staple in my diet and for I don't know, a few years now when I'm uh, low carb because you can have just one of these has only like 13 carbs per wrap. So it's not that bad. And then it has like 13 grams of fiber. <laughs> so it's very high in fiber. I also put some low fat Miracle Whip on there. Sorry about these loud noises. Kenley's over there like racing a car, but I don't have time to <laughs> stop her because I gotta go. I'm gonna put some classic coleslaw on top. There we go. And then got some broccoli slaw. This is a big staple to getting more volume in your rice and pretty much anything right now. I've been stacking on broccoli slaw on pretty much everything. <laughs> Just a ton of volume. And for other seasoning we're put on this sucker is the hot sauce. The Slotsky's hot sauce is incredible. I'm gonna dump that on. Oh yeah, and then the last finishing touch, another sauce is the sugar-free uh, wing sauce. Must have a little bit on there. Here we go, and then for even more volume and vegetables, I'm going to snack on a few of these mini carrots and have some Greek yogurt ranch dressing to dip them in. I'm gonna have a couple of these celery sticks and that's gonna be lunch. And I gotta hurry up and eat this because we gotta get on the road. this 90 minute massage the next time you see me I'm gonna look like I just woke up from the dead 
a few moments later. Oh my gosh, I would rather do a 10 hour workout. No, I take that back. I'd rather do 10 hours of cardio than do 90 more minutes of that massage. It was that brutal. Like I'm sitting there grinding my teeth because it hurts so much, but it was amazing. Rodney is his name. He was phenomenal, like amazing. I'll have to come back. And the reason why it was so bad is because I was thinking about the last time I got a massage and it's been over two years. It was prior to COVID when I got my last massage. So it was really, really bad. He said I was super knotted up and I could feel it. Like my back was just knotted completely. And then when he got down to my legs, he worked on those for ever and man i'm in so much pain right now but it's one of those things that you know when someone is really good at giving deep tissue massages because it is supposed to hurt because when i go to massages and it feels good and i can sleep you know you're at the wrong place as far as wanting to see results because you want it to be painful because you want them to actually get those knots out so now i need a quick meal because we're about to get out of town i'll tell you where we're going in a little bit i'm gonna look tired the rest of the day <laughs> because anytime i get a massage I look like I woke up from like hibernation or something so this is gonna be something that I normally don't have on prep uh, because I want a lot of volume when I'm on prep and this is not a ton of volume now it will be for a protein shake but uh, I'm gonna be hungry in about maybe I don't know an hour to an hour and a half after uh, eating this but we have a two-hour drive and then we're gonna be eating dinner probably pretty early tonight. So that's the reason why I'm gonna have this really quick. So I'm gonna have a protein shake. So all I'm gonna do to make this is almond milk, have eight ounces of almond milk. I'm gonna have one scoop of Muscle Tech. This is their protein powder, it's called Ripped, which is 30 grams of protein. So throw that in. Then I'm gonna add some xanthan gum. So this is gonna help thicken up the shake and make it a little bit less icy. There we go, you don't need much. I'm gonna have two packets of stevia. I'm gonna add half a serving of this powdered peanut butter to give it some peanut butter taste. Some pancake, Weldon Farms pancake syrup. There we go. Oh, and then the secret ingredient. We have salt, just a little bit of salt in there. And then I'm gonna fill this sucker up with ice all the way to the top. There we go. Shake it up and throw it in the blender. Now, after that blends up, then we have this massive protein shake here. And a lot of people call this like ice cream because look at that, that texture is perfect. With that xanthan gum and that protein powder, it just turns out really, really good. And then with the salt, I'm telling you, Amazing, look at that. Turns out really nice. So now I'm gonna add some natural peanut butter, half a serving of this peanut butter because when I'm on a lower carb a day, my fats will go up by a little bit. There we go. And the reason why I put the peanut butter on last is because I like having it kind of like in pieces, like chunks, like I'll get a little bit of peanut butter and then eat it that way. Instead of blending it up in the shake, it just, I don't know, it's more, Oh, you said it's satisfying when you get like chunks of peanut butter instead of just being in the shake because I already added this powder peanut butter so the shake already tastes a little bit like peanut butter but having that crunch is just makes it that much better so this huge thing of protein ice cream is only 318 calories so that's incredible for this big massive thing now like I said the bad thing about it is I'm gonna be hungry in about an hour and a half two hours later so we just got done with a two hour car ride to San Antonio because this is where Shelby's mom lives and we're gonna be spending tonight with her. She's been asking us for a while to come down and she has a pool so she wants the kids to come and swim and stuff. So we thought this weekend would be as good as any uh, because next weekend I got the contest and then after that we're gonna be traveling a whole lot. So it should be a lot of fun for the kids. So for dinner, I'm having one of these H-E-B salads I picked up earlier today and this is a Cobb salad and they only come with two and a half ounces of chicken, like a little bit of chicken. So I'm adding four ounces of steak from uh, Fuel Mills. I'm just gonna dump that in here. And then Shelby got a poke bowl from this place. Look, so I'm gonna be eating salads. Your salad that. looks good to be fair. Oh really, compared to this? No. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Mom. 
Look how big this salad is. It takes up this massive bowl. Check out the view that they have right outside their back door. It's amazing out here. They got a pool downstairs. That's where the kids will be spending the day tomorrow. And then Six Flags in San Antonio is like right out there. Every night you can see the fireworks from their back porch, which is pretty awesome. They have a grill. And it feels absolutely amazing out here tonight. It's not too hot. So what I think I'm gonna do is go get some decaf coffee, come out here, sit down, and enjoy this amazing weather. So I forgot I haven't shown you guys a workout yet. So I have a pre-recorded chest workout that I did yesterday. It's actually a really great one because I am really sore today. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you after the workout. What's up everyone, welcome back to another workout. Let's go ahead and get started with the very first exercise. We have pec deck flies. I did five sets of around 10 to 15 reps and then on the last set did a double drop set. So throughout this workout, I'm gonna try to keep my voice synced with the exercise because someone asked me in my last video, why don't I keep uh, my voice synced? And honestly, it's just because it's easier just to talk throughout the workout and try to keep everything timed exactly right. But throughout this workout, I'm gonna try to keep everything synced so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. After that, went into incline barbell bench press. I did six sets, yes, six sets of incline barbell bench press. Now the reps was 10, eight, six, four, eight, and 15. So on the fifth set, I did a pause rest set. And what a pause rest set is, you're gonna go to failure, then you're gonna rack the weight, then you're gonna rest for only 10 to 15 seconds, pick the weight back up, and then try to squeeze out a few more reps until failure again. And then on the last set, which was the 15 reps, I did what you'd call a back off set. So I was using just about half the weight that I was using for those eight reps. And then for the back off set, I go really slow and controlled through every single rep, just trying to squeeze the whole entire time. So as you can see, this is the pause rest set just resting for those 10 to 15 seconds and then go to failure again and this was a killer so my chest is already fried after doing just those two exercises after that went into 30 degree dumbbell bench press I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps and then on the last set just did a single drop set so the 30 degree mark is just one notch up on the bench so this is going to focus on your upper chest and your middle chest too so it's kind of like a course in between doing incline and a flat bench press. After that, when it's a Smith machine flat press, I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. And then on the last set, which you're watching right here is a double drop set. I did not record the double drop set. Well, actually I thought I recorded the double drop set and then my memory card uh, filled up. So I only got like one drop recorded. So as you can see, I have the 25 pounds plates uh, stacked on the end so that I could easily do a drop set very quickly. And this was a killer. After that, went into the last two exercises, and this is a superset, incline dumbbell flies, superset with dumbbells together press. So I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps on both of these exercises. So I'm just going down, stretching, going up, squeezing through the whole range of motion, really trying to get that mind muscle connection. So go to failure with the flies, and then immediately what I would do is put the dumbbells together, press as many times as I could do with that same weight that I was doing the flies with. And then when I couldn't do any more reps, then I would drop the weight by around 20 pounds on each dumbbell and then just go to failure pressing, which you're seeing right here. And guys, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, this workout is gonna be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So let me show you guys our sleeping arrangements. So I'll be sleeping in this bedroom alone. Uh, Shelby and Brady's gonna be going in another bedroom. And Kinley, <laughs> this is where she's gonna be sleeping tonight. Check out this. <laughs> in the closet here. <laughs> so that I don't wake her up when I get up super early tomorrow to do cardio and stuff. So we're just gonna stick her in there and don't worry. It has AC in there. She's going to be totally fine, but I thought it was pretty funny. I wanted to show you guys.
Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the next day. So I just got done with 50 minutes of cardio on the treadmill. Now, the reason why I did 50 today instead of 45 is because I haven't done uh, the treadmill on this whole entire prep. So I don't feel like I burned as many calories as if I was doing the bike or the elliptical. So I just upped it by five minutes and I had to adjust the camera a little bit to get those time lapses. So that's the reason why I added uh, some time. So I wanna go over what exactly my macros were yesterday. I did not show you guys the last meal because I totally forgot and all it was was muscle tech casein protein powder mixed with two servings of egg whites and I had a half a serving of peanut butter so what I did was just mix it up and then make it into like a mug brownie so the calories yesterday total was 2026 calories uh, protein was 233 grams carbs was 72 and then fat was 98 and that was a full day of low carb eating so today we're just gonna be chilling around the house I'm gonna be vlogging all day today because I don't don't think yesterday's video was that long now I know every time I say that the video ends up being like 30 minutes but if you're enjoying the video so far hit that thumbs up button So I just wrapped up a crazy back workout at the nicest gym or gold gym I've ever been to here in San Antonio. That place was awesome. If you want to see that workout, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting that back workout sometime this coming week. So pretty much all we did today was just sit around at her mom's house. We swam for a while and now I'm headed back there. We're either going to eat dinner at her mom's house or we're going to head back to Austin and eat dinner there but that's pretty much the plan. I was in that gym for about three and a half hours. Yeah, super long. Anytime I go to a new gym, it's like me in a playground. I can just go there and just check out all the equipment. And I did back, I did arms, I did calves, and then I did cardio. So I didn't record the whole entire workout because I know people are gonna be on my butt telling me it's just way too much volume, but it's something that I love to do, even though I know it's overkill. So now we're at a nice little pizza place, but of course I can't have any pizza, so I brought my fuel meals here and I got some extra broccoli that I cooked at the house. Just more volume. Uh, the pizza looks actually pretty good. This is the kids. The cheese pizza. Brady, is it amazing? Yeah. <laughs> we have Gainer sitting right here because we can't leave him in the car. So we just made it home from that two hour drive. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was good spending time with her mother and stuff and her stepdad and hanging out by the pool and stuff. I know the kids had a blast. Brady kept asking, can we stay another night? But we just can't because tomorrow we gotta go to church and we didn't have clothes packed uh, for another night. So I received a new package in from ZV Apparel, uh, the clothing company that I'm sponsored by. And this is items that I already have, but because I do cardio in the morning and then work out and then do cardio after my workouts, I need to double of these items because I wear them so often. And that is the oversized tees. I'm actually wearing one right now, the black. And these are probably my favorite shirts that they came out with. So I got black. My favorite color might be the stone. I love this color. It matches a lot. And then got the navy blue, white, and then got some extra pairs of these lifestyle shorts. These are my favorite shorts that ZV's ever came out with. These are the only shorts that I've been wearing basically every single day. I love these things. My favorite color is the sand. This goes with absolutely anything. If you guys want to check out ZV Apparel, use code ABLE and that will save you 20% off. But guys, I think I'm going to end the video here because we're about to take the kids up and take them to bed because, oh my gosh, it is... 10 o'clock and these kids go to bed normally at 8.30. Now, I'm not gonna be able to get up two videos uh, this week, which is very devastating. I was trying, but when we went down to her mom's house, I really did not have time to edit, did I? 
No, not at so all. So <laughs> I tried to edit this morning and I was sitting there trying to get stuff done and I got done with a decent amount, but then I had to go work out and it just wasn't enough time. So I apologize for not getting two videos this week. Next week, I promise you guys, I will have two videos up. Now this is gonna be a pretty long video because this is two days in one. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. All right guys. Bye. You need me to do it for you. Hey. Everything's exhausting on prep. <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you a full day at Is that hard? It is hard. Why? Uh just talking. I got right at I got right at it. I got two ounces of flanks. Get my protein in for the day and also my fat, my, my fats, my fats. <laughs> and two servings of egg. Well, that was a bust. Kenley, Kenley, stop bracing. Breakfast and I gotta hurry up and eat this. Lunch. Oh yeah. I knew it. Pause it. Daddy, Look at Bobby. Get it. Hey, girl. I got it, Mom. I got it. Brady, give me a high five for the camera. Yeah. Oh, Daddy, I got So she chases them away, and sometimes she'll fall in. All right, so we just made it home from that two hour drive. It was a lot of fun. We spent time with her parents, or her parents, her mom. <laughs> I'm tired. Peace. You too, Kenley. Peace. Peace. Good job. <laughs>